think no matter who you are in North America these days, you're starting to wonder what's wrong here. Something's off. It's not what it was like when I was growing up. 2023 was the hottest year ever recorded. With global temperatures reaching 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. This year in 2023, not a unique year in that we've experienced extreme heat, but extreme in just how many extremes we saw. And that resulted in businesses having to close and huge economic impacts. It caused electricity prices to spike for individuals. And so we know the stakes become really high and even people who weren't initially considering themselves at risk in high heat conditions suddenly are. And so what does that mean? How do we solve that? Of course, there'll be solutions across the whole ecosystem, but there's also a whole range of solutions in the home that can affect people's lives on a daily basis and help make them more resilient to these types of heat extremes. There's one study that shows that decisions made in and around the home are responsible for 42% of energy-related emissions in the United States, 42%. That's a big amount of the climate challenge that we're trying to address here. And that's the result of these different purchasing decisions we make, things like the car we drive, how we heat and cool our home, how we wash our clothes and cook our food, a bunch of machines that we take for granted every day that actually amount to a significant part of the climate challenge, potentially, or the solution. I think the contractors we work with at Goodleap are truly warriors of light. They're out there every day providing consumers with the tools they need. They're unlocking a true revolution in sustainability.